Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I found this desk on Facebook Marketplace and I just recently finished up flipping it. I always try to start out by cleaning any furniture that I'm going to flip. Luckily this one wasn't too bad, um, only just a little bit of dust under the drawers. After cleaning the desk, I started to prime. For this desk, I am using the Kills Original Primer in the can that has the red label. It's not my first choice for primer, but my first choice I was out of, and they were out of at two of the locations that I was checking. And I had a gallon of this, about a half of a gallon left, so I thought I would go ahead and use it up. This primer does do a good job of stain blocking, but it does have a really strong scent. So that's why I'm wearing a mask. In between every layer of primer, paint, and before my finishing coat, I go over the piece with a piece of sandpaper or sanding block, a fine grit, like 220. Um, you could even do like 150, but it just helps break down and really smooth the surface out and gives you the smoothest, softest finish you could possibly get. Because this desk has so many angles and little notches and stuff, I decided to flip it over so that I could get the best view of all these little areas so that I wouldn't miss anything. I'm using a foam roller on most of the piece and a brush in the places that I can't get the roller in. And I'm using the Tintable Chalk Paint by Bear from Home Depot. It's not my favorite. The last time I purchased from there, I got the Rust-Oleum and I liked that one a lot better but it still does the job and it still came out with a nice smooth finish. There were just some other issues that I didn't like. So when sanding the primer, I just used a sanding piece of sanding paper, but this is actually one of my favorite things to use. I just have very little left and that's why it's cut so small, but these are the Surf Prep sanding pads. You can get them on Amazon. You can get a set of assorted, grits or you can get a lot of one. I love these for getting around details um, where like maybe an orbital sander or something can't do. I definitely prefer using my paint sprayer to paint my furniture. However, we live in Las Vegas right now and it is over 100 degrees and I'm pregnant. I cannot stand outside for very long um, without really feeling like I'm overheating. Now I was planning on sanding these drawer fronts down and doing a stain, but once I took the hardware off, I realized it was actually particle board all pressed together and trying to sand this red was not gonna work out most likely. So I just decided to paint then. And since I had already gotten past the primer smell with the majority of the desk and it had kind of cleared out of the house, I decided to prime these outside so that it wouldn't fill up the house again with that smell. Stupid. 
Once I got everything primed and painted and smooth again, I went ahead and started with my top coat. I really, really love a furniture wax to finish my pieces. They come out so beautiful. However, this is going to be a high traffic piece of furniture. This is a desk that I use very often. So I went ahead and did a polycrylic on here. I ended up doing two coats of the polycrylic and I did it in the satin. I didn't have any matte. I would have liked it better if I did it in matte, but I had satin on hand and I really didn't want to go out and buy more stuff. So that is what I'm using. All right, to finish off, I am spray painting the hardware. I don't love spray painting hardware, but this time I made sure that I let it set for two or three days before I let the little handles touch back on to the main piece of the hardware. Basically, I've always noticed that it always feels a little bit tacky still. So this time I think letting it set so long without letting it touch helped a ton. I love this champagne gold color against this dark, dark gray. I think it gives the perfect contrast. I love the way this desk turned out. It's gonna fit perfectly in our little office den area. They're much better than the red did. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more DIYs and furniture flips in the future. Thanks guys.